last term, I voted against keeping the death penalty for the reasons of the cost. The millions of dollars, the years of litigation, the fact that I don't think we even have a death chamber, and no executioner, and it's been since 1939 since we even did it. This term, I sat through all the committee hearings. We listened to the police association come. They had valid reasons for keeping it. They really did. But we also heard from concerned citizens of this state. We had many clergy come. We had retired judges, retired AGs, prison administrators, survivors of victims, former police officers, and a former death row inmate who served eight years on death row until he was exonerated and gone free. All with compelling testimony on why we should get rid of the death penalty. Now as I get older, I realize for a fact we're actually all on death row. It's just a matter of time until our name gets called. And when my name gets called, I'm going to go before the Lord with a huge basket full of regrets and misdeeds, just like you will. But I'll tell you what won't be in that basket of misdeeds. It won't be regrets. What won't be in there is that I did not turn a deaf ear to those who came and took the time to speak to us to get rid of the death penalty. Because today, I am going to vote to repeal the death penalty as I would tomorrow or any other day. Thank you, Madam President. <laughs>